Salvete, which, although it sounds a bit like a curse word, means greetings in Latin. Here we are again, in the Crystal City, but now it's render time o'clock. And this is going to be a really short video where I just show you the uh, render settings I used for the project. What I'm going to start with is to set up an object buffer, because I want the background separate from the crystals and the little ground plane that we created. So we'll go through and, and actually add a compositing tag to the background and set up an object buffer to start with one. It's a good number to start with. Then I'll make sure to set up the same object buffer in multipass. Very important. So that's object ID 1. And in the compositing tag, we have object ID 1. Next up, I'll select uh, the output format and I'll go for something called RPF format because that includes a Z depth buffer, which allows me to create some sweet depth of field later in After Effects. Caution. If using the team render or the net render, the RPF files will not include these passes. Extra caution. When using the physical renderer in progressive mode, using the RPF format, Cinema 4D seems to save every progressive pass for that frame into the RPF file. And your files will be huge. Multipass is fine to be just a PNG. I do also want the main pass 16 bit, whereas multipass can be 8 bits easily. It's just the object buffer. And then I'll just uh, pick a suitable output somewhere. I think a good idea would be a folder called uh, Crystal City. That's where I'll save the main pass and just copy that path for the multi pass. Next up, I'll set the resolution to 720p and then I want all frames. Also at 25 frames per second. And uh, listening, I want the best, but not that good. In options, I'll keep all those options quite low. Set the array depth low, set the reflection depth quite low, and shadows, I don't even have shadows. So I can turn those way down to keep the render fast. And then, uh, I think that's it. So now we're uh, ready for ready for render. And I'll hit the uh, Shift R, and off it goes. Assuming I don't want to stick around and wait for this, I'll see you in the next part where we do the comping. For now, thank you for listening, and uh, stay in motion.